Good morning. Good morning. From Nusa Panita, we are in the car and getting ready to go on a tour of the east coast of the island. Back with Lib, <laughs> Liv, and Nick is in the front of the car. You can't see him, Hi. but we're ready to go. <laughs> just arrived to Atu Beach and Diamond Beach and we paid 25,000 rupiah each and these little bracelets are our ticket. terrifying descent down then we are now at diamond beach and that's the diamond if diamonds are a girl's best friend does that mean that this beach is now your best friend no you're my best friend oh, but yeah. will you buy me a rock this big might have to save a couple of centuries but we can make it i'm glad that you're optimistic babe enjoyed a lovely breakfast here at Atu Beach, but now it's time to crack on with the rest of the tour. This is Teletubbies Hill. Not because there are actual wild Teletubbies or anything like that rolling around, but because the landscape is reminiscent from that of the TV show. What were the names of the Teletubbies again? Dinky Winky, Dinky Winky, Dipsy, La La, La La, Po. And what did you think of it, Nick? Really interesting. Definitely haven't seen anything like that before. We have seen cave temples, but they've usually been much more carefully crafted. This one was all naturally formed, so really, like, no human intervention was actually made to dig it out. Instead, they just built the temple inside. And so it's just human that. But they haven't really done much with, like, the um, internal rock. But what they've done is we've got the only thing to note though is anybody who's a little bit faster, like myself, um, the crawl space is pretty small. Um, so if you are not a big fan of the cramped spaces or you're just a big human, you just need to be a bit careful about like that. I just can't get over how large it is inside. The fact that people just found this cave, it's absolutely amazing inside. And it was completely worth the 50,000 rupiah donation because it's so unique. The only thing I have to compare it to is kind of like Batu Cave. 
except for this seemed far more quiet, which means it's a little bit more special and undiscovered, sacred in a way. I guess that's maybe the best way I can describe it. back to the hostel after a very civilized afternoon at the Chill Canita. This was our first time going to like a pool or beach club here and it was absolutely lovely. It was pricier than going to like a local warung but also not completely unaffordable. The smoothie bowls were the best we've had and we just shared the happy hour drinks together. We got an espresso martini, a passion fruit margarita that seemed to have this like chili infusion in it. Which is bright. And we got a, what is it called? A stormy cloudy, a dark, dark, and, dark and stormy. <laughs> Which was also lovely. All of that was a little bit of a luxurious treat but it seemed like a really nice way to spend the afternoon with yeah. live and live after a tour of the east of the island so we get that in the full lounge bar experience with all the lovely food and drinks yeah it's worth the extra cash so it was super relaxing and kind of what i pictured bali to be like you know like beach pool club smoothie bowls drinks but what i'm learning from being in bali is that it can be anything you want it to be. It can kind of be, you go hang out by the beach and go to the local warung. You could spend a whole holiday at these like fancier pool clubs, beach resorts, or you could spend the day doing cultural tours in the car. And that's kind of nice that you can make the holiday whatever you want it to be. Yep. It does seem like there is a plethora of different activities that you can do and it really just caters to whatever you want to have out of your vacation. So now we're just on our way back. We'll probably do a spot of editing, probably head out and grab some cheap dinner and otherwise just chill. Good morning. We are currently waiting to go on my first ever snorkeling trip. Apparently, this is the place where manta rays, which are the world's largest rays, happily live, swim, and can be sighted very frequently. So we are hopefully going to swing among them for the best part of today. And I think we're going to be taken to four different spots, and uh, let's hope that we see some. Yep.
like that, we've finished our snorkeling trip. As a first timer, I have to admit, my first struggle was learning to breathe correctly. I know that's weird to say, but when you can only breathe out your mouth, you really have to focus on that for a bit. So that was a bit of a struggle, but as part of the tour, you ended up going to three different dive spots. And by the end of it, I felt really, really comfortable. So you get the hang of it pretty quickly. As a means of seeing what we wanted to though, that was fantastic. Really, really cool. Um, because they really try and come for the spots where it's practically guaranteed you're going to see something. So the first spot, we ended up seeing a manta ray, which was incredible. Never thought we'd see that. Uh, second spot, we swam right up close with the turtle, which was just beautiful. And then in the third spot, it was just among the reef, seeing all the reef fish and a few starfish and all sorts of amazing marine wildlife that I've really only seen either on documentaries or in books. So all in all, yeah, well worth it. Yeah, I couldn't get over the fact that a manta ray was so big. It was amazing to see one up close and the turtle was just so beautiful. I felt like I was constantly chasing them to get good video and photographs and yeah. so on. But I loved seeing just the fish because they were all so colorful. Like they were vibrant with like yellow and purple and blue. And even the coral was absolutely gorgeous. It was only a two hour long boat tour, but everything was really well taken care of. They gave us our fins and our masks and snorkels. And the staff on the boat were so helpful holding your equipment and helping you get up and down off the boat. They gave you water just a really organized professional experience so the fact that we paid 150,000 rupiah each which is what like maybe 14 dollars canadian yep. that's incredible for everything that they provided an absolute bargain the only downside though to getting as early a start as we did though is we haven't eaten yet so we are going to go and immediately rectify that paradise when you can have a view like that and enjoy your smoothie bowl and coffee nothing better yeah i feel like honestly at most points during our time here we've always had an opportunity to reach peak barley yeah. and this seems to be, have been another one just being able to see the incredible wildlife getting to interact with it by doing the snorkeling and then on top of that eating some delicious and healthy food at the same time while sipping on a beautiful hot drink and um, it doesn't get much better than that. So, and you need the cold fruits because it is hot here. Exactly. We are just walking back to our hostel now and we don't have much planned for the rest of the day. I think we're just going to do a little bit of editing so you can have some videos and then just relax and watch some TV. Pretty much. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.